What is up, YouTube? How you doing? We are opening up the laptop, and you know what that means. That means we gotta read some hater DMs. It's funny to me because they're like, boom, I'm gonna throw a rock at you and it's gonna ding off your big ass watermelon head. And I'm like, no, it's not. I'm gonna dodge it and I'm gonna make fun of you and then it's gonna be a negative turn into a positive. Everybody's gonna laugh at it. They still ain't gonna know your name, so we do that now. <laughs> All right, side note. Also, I know I'll be looking a little ratchet. That's okay, because I'm me. If you don't like the way I look, good. Leave an offensive comment about it. Tell me how I'm gross and ugly, and you're like, oh, you're a ginger, and you should go do something terrible. Um, go for it, because I know you're just mad that I smooched with your girlfriend. Bruh, he just said he smooched with your girlfriend, bruh. Let me show you how I did it. Just like that. Made the ugliest duck face I could, made my mustache crinkle up, and it was like, Right there on her upper lip where she has a mustache. I didn't even kiss her on the lips, dude. I kissed her mustache. I'm out here kissing mustaches on females, man. What does my life come to? All right, let's get into it. The first hateful DM comes from... Bro, say their name. I did. You didn't hear me? No, man. Say it again. Did I make you mad, brother? All right, here we go. Ironically, it's a person antagonizing me in hopes that I'll put him in a YouTube video, like saying their name or react to him. Um, so this dude, and when I say dude, um, to click on the profile, well over the age of 30, we're gonna say that. Um, this dude is like, go back to your message. Freaking bet you won't put me in a video, bitch. Well, you bet right. <laughs> Not putting you in a video. Actually, you know what, guys? I'm gonna start using my microphone. It's not even hooked up. Just, just to pretend to talk into it to respond. Check, check. One, two. Microphone testing. I would put it in my mouth, like to be funny, but you know how the internet is. I'll end up with some weirdo in another state, like screen recording it and chopping a video up and being like, "Oh, look at this dude. He looks so weird." And then say a bunch of offensive things. And then later on that night, whenever his girlfriend's sleeping, he's over there in the next room, like. <sighs> Out. Gotta watch these weirdos, man. They're everywhere. They're not just in school zones. All right, let's see. Next hater. Where you at, Mr. Hater Aid? I gotta find them. Because I'm getting a lot of love messages uh, recently from people that are new to the channel and stuff. So they're coming in and being regular people. And they're like, hey, man, yo, why'd you just skip so much? But anyways, a lot of people coming in being like, hey, man, love the channel, yada, yada, yada. You know, just normal people stuff. But we're here for the ones that are not normal. Microphone, microphone. Bro, it's a microphone. No. Alright, this dude wants to fight me. He said he's gonna beat me up. Um, goes on to make fun of my arms and my body weight and tell me I'm a twig and he's gonna snap me in half, so... Um, I don't know what to do with that. Um... <laughs> oh, bro. That hurt. I put a little mark on my forehead. Hurt a little bit. Standing in the blue corner at 105 pounds from Eastern Alabama, we have little bitty Mudflap. He wants to fight the kid on YouTube who made a video that had nothing to do with him. This is breaking news, guys. Breaking news. You know you don't have to talk with your lips literally on the mic, right? You don't know nothing about nothing. I'm a professional microphone speaker inner. I don't think that exists. What do you think musicians are, man? They speak in the mic professionally. Yeah, so to sum it up, bro, I don't know you. Um, I'm not going to fight you because you don't have anything to lose, and I do. Um, also, I'm not going to just fight you for no reason. If you want me to fight you, you got to, like, mess with my little brother or something. Um, then I'll show you what the bottom of the creek looks like, just in case you don't know. Um, I'm assume you don't, since you're typing, and you gotta be. But, moving on from that. Alright, well, it appears here we have a salty salamander. This person is mad about a fat joke I supposedly made in a video titled, Crappy Tinder Story. Before I respond to this person or tell you what they said, I I'm want to preference something here. I make videos that are funny. Sometimes something might be taken as offensive. I'm not directly trying to offend anybody. Now, don't get the impression that I'm, like, coming out being like, I'm not here to offend you. I'm so sorry if I have. I'm, I'm not sorry for saying something that I've said, unless it was legitimately harmful to somebody. Um, like, if I said some really out-of-pocket shit to a regular person and, like, doxed their address or done some really high-level weirdo shit, um, which you don't see me do because I'm not a weirdo. But... Um, I'm gonna say things as a comedian, whatever you want to classify me as, um, and here's the deal. 
Comedy is offensive, at least good comedy is. Um, you'll notice in today's modern society, people are like, man, comedy's not what it used to be. And it's like, yeah, because every time somebody says something funny, they get canceled for it. Hell, Dave Chappelle's been canceled like 78 times. Um, but he's funny as shit, and he's one of the last respected comedians. Um, I keep saying um a lot, sound like I'm in a damn job interview. Um, yeah, I could be a garbage man, shit. I used to live in my mom's house. I take garbage out all the damn time, okay? You know what I'm saying? Um, so I'm, I'm pretty much best on it. Hell, I got a PhD in garbage taking out. You know what I'm saying? My mom used to give me $4.03 for it. Hell, I, I, I was eating off the half meal menu, baby. But I took out that damn garbage. My daddy come in. My daddy didn't even spank me when he come in from work. Because I took out at the, the, the garbage. My daddy loved me. And I loved my daddy. I got four daddies. Yeah, so to sum it up, I don't offend anybody directly. I was telling a story that is a truthful story, but it was, it's, damn, don't break, bro. The story is, like, how do you say it? Like, it's it's dramatic. I'm, I'm over-exaggerating. It is it is true. The story happened, but I'm, I'm throwing details in there for comedic purposes. It's to be funny. You're supposed to watch the story and laugh. You're not supposed to watch the story and just take away the fact that I said she was overweight. The whole joke is about being catfished. That happens on a regular basis. Um, but this person goes on to insult me about it, about me being skinny and yada, yada, yada. So um, to take the ammunition away, I am skinny. Um, you see my arms, they're very skinny. I got this little like bone you can see in my arm because I'm a little skinny, frail, mamma jamma. Um, but that's okay because all the weight goes to one spot. If you're looking for that spot, ask your mother, baby. Yeah, I went there. I sure did. I sure did done went there, brother. I sure did done did it. But yeah, that is what it is. You know, you live and you learn, but I'm not sorry for anything I've said. If I said it, I meant it. And, you know, like I said, it was a, a dramatized story. So, yeah, get over it. All right, next, we got a person asking me to cash up them money. This is a regular occurrence for me. I get people that, I, I don't believe, I don't like to use the word fans. I, I don't believe that they're actually a supporter of mine. I believe that they see who I am on the internet. And they come to me with a sob story in order to take advantage of me and to get money from me. So that is a regular occurrence in um, messages box on message boxes. I can't ever talk when I film YouTube, man. I, I, I quit, man. I'm not good enough for this YouTube stuff. I'm back. I found my self-worth. I picked it up off the ground. A dog doo-dooed on it. I licked it clean, and I put it back into my box of personality traits. I guess you could say I'm a bit of a psychopath. But anyways, in my message inboxes, I get a lot of people that are like, give me this long sob story about... How they got in a car crash, their car flipped 57 times, they went out the window, hit a tree, broke all 75 of their legs, their eyes were damaged in the process, they got LASIK surgery, the doctor was out to get them, so their eyes were burned and they really can't see. But if I send them $5 on Cash App, all their problems will go away. Yeah, that is a regular occurrence. Um, all the other content creators and people that watch me, I'm sure y'all go through the same thing. I don't feed into it, I don't send people money. I have sent um, like single mother's money. Um, that don't mean single mothers need to be in my inbox asking me for money. I'm not gonna give it to you, okay? Unless I owe you child support, you ain't getting nothing. And I ain't got no baby, so I ain't giving you no damn money. Even though I'm a daddy to all these little fuckers on YouTube that hate me. Let me tell y'all about Kobe Myers, man. I've been watching his videos, man. I'm about to give an opinion on one of his opinions, okay? Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready for it? It's good. Subscribe, like, Donate to my Patreon and uh, support my GoFundMe. If you're a good person and you really want to get into heaven, you'll donate to the GoFundMe. But I'm about to give an opinion on COVID Myers, man. Just in case y'all know who we're talking about. If you look down at the description box, I got his name hashtag 87 times. Yeah, COVID Myers, who we're talking about. All right, we'll see what this guy's got to say about me. I'm going to break my damn mic already. All right, man, COVID Myers made this video. And he put up church name in there and Adam Cajon's name. And it's literally, literally called My Opinion as a longtime supporter, which is very, very close. You don't even need eyes to see it, okay? You can see it with your ears. It's that clear. But hear me out, brothers and sisters watching my channel. AKA six people and two of them are my mom and my dad. I'm about to tell y'all how what he said was wrong and he is full of crap. How can I be full of crap if it's an opinion? I didn't. It's an opinion, bro. And then you go down to the bottom of the video and his literal pinned comment is, All right, guys, y'all seeing this? Kobe Meyer, let him know I made a video about him. I'll be waiting on his response. Bro, I ain't about to respond to you. You look like Carl from Sling Blade. I ain't got no gas in it. 
All right, moving on. This next person said, I bet this dude wouldn't say this out in public. And he's referring to a video whenever I was like, you know, I stand on what I say. And if the day ever came when someone was like, hey, fuck you for what you said, I'd be like, well, I mean, yeah, I said I'm not sorry for it. You can feel however way you want to feel, but I'm not sorry because you feel a certain way. Um, I'm, I'm not here to live my life based on what you think. That's that's just a bizarre way to live. And I did not grow up living like that. Um, so I'm not going to do that. But to a response, um, I would say what I want to say in public. And I, I do. I'm it's kind of like what I'm known for. Like, in my family, I'm the one that, if you want to know the answer, ask Colby. He's going to tell you. He's going to shoot you straight if you want an opinion. Like, if you want, I'm not going to say the right advice or the right answer, but if you want to know what someone truly thinks, ask him. So, I don't really want to go back on my credibility and be fake as fuck and be like, oh, no, I didn't say that. I would never. No. No, I, I agree, bro. You should abandon your kids and start a crack addiction. You should, because because life is about doing what you want to do no and i've had that in my family like that's that's a literal topic that's been brought up but no i'm, I'm i mean i was 17 years old or 16 years old being like no you shouldn't do that um that's kind of wrong um you're gonna grow up your kids are gonna grow up they're gonna hate you you're gonna lose custody of them and uh, you're gonna be sitting around blaming everybody else whenever you're the one who chose to abandon your kids and get on crack so yeah that's uh i stand on what i say bro and uh if you think you're gonna punch me in the face for it uh, go for it i mean I don't know what to tell you, bro. Um, I, okay. Now, this next one, it's not really a hate message, but it's something I think is worth addressing. So, I've been out openly and said, you know, if you need to message me for anything, you can message me. You can holler at me. Um, I will try my best to get back to you. Just be patient with me. Um, but there are people that take advantage of that. Similar to what I said about the Cash App situation. There are people that don't legitimately have an issue, and I don't say this in an arrogant way because... To be very clear, I'm a regular dude. There's nothing gifted or talented or special about me. But there are people that will pretend to have a dire situation. I'm getting the call. Stop calling my phone, man. Leave me alone, bro. I'm trying to film YouTube videos. Um, people that will message me in order to just talk to me. It's it's not for a legitimate purpose. It's just to holler at me. And um, pretty annoying, but... Yeah, it's, it's, this dude, he's obviously pretending like he has a major issue because I, I've responded to the guy. I was like, well, what's your issue? And he would never be direct with me. He was just kind of, hey, man, how you doing? And wanted to ask me personal questions. So don't do that. And if you don't have a legitimate issue, like you're not actually struggling with something, don't don't pretend to be because I'm going to block you and you're not going to be a supporter of mine. Well, that's it. We done spanked them haters today. Get spanked on, cuz. Here, you know I'm a nice person. I'll give you a Rubik's Cube so you can go play with it and... Work your brain out a little bit. Get, get your brain moving since it obviously don't do that. Because y'all be saying some dumb shit, bro. But that's it. Like and subscribe. We just hit 19,000 subs today. Um, so thank y'all for that. Um, appreciate y'all following me. Appreciate y'all watching my stuff. Um, I'm getting questions from people asking about merch. So I'm going to look into that for y'all. If y'all legitimately want merch to buy and to support me. Like I said, I'm not a full-time YouTuber. I, I work a real blue-collar job in the Texas heat. So... Um, I'm not one of those people who's like, oh, good. I, get, give me some motherfucking money, man. I need to buy some cigarettes, man. Come on, bro. No, I'm a regular ass dude, which is probably why y'all follow me. Um, come to think about it. One time I had a thought about a think that I had, and I was thinking about that thought, and I was like, dang, that was a good thinking thought. You know what I mean, bro? But I really do appreciate y'all. If y'all legitimately want me to look into that, um, which I already am, I'm, I'm going to do it. But y'all commenting to tell me like, yo, yeah, you should start merch. That does help me. From the creator perspective because i see people that are like wanting to legitimately motivate me to do it so it, it kind of gives me that reassurance to be like okay if i do it people will buy because i don't want to put my money into something that's, that's not gonna it's not gonna produce you know what i mean like if i go spend um several hundred to over a thousand dollars to get merch going and then you know three people buy and two are my mom and my brother you know what i mean um we don't want to do that but i appreciate y'all watching i'll be putting out this content on a regular basis but for real, man, thank y'all for watching. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Um, I tell y'all I love y'all on video. I never say I love you back in comments, even though there's people like, I love you, bro. Um, I'm, I'm very picky about who I say I love you to, so I always say much love. It's, it's just kind of like an uncomfortable thing for me. I don't know. I'm, call me weird. I don't care. But uh, I don't just tell random people, like, I love you directly. Um, there's only a few people I say that to. Um, actually, like, four people I say that to. Um, and they're all, we all got the same blood in our bodies. So... See y'all later, potatoes.